They do not know it, but the wolf is already at the gate. Seven o'clock on a moonlit night at the end of December, a terrible time for a party, and the guests are about to arrive. After the complex agony of invitations, the expense, the whipping of cream, the residents of Flat 2, Westminster Court, are almost too tired to greet their visitors, yet there is still so much to be done. They have been up since five in a fury of efficiency, wiping the underside of ornaments, hoovering beneath the many rugs, rolling pastry, slicing cucumbers, innumerable tasks if this evening is to be perfect, as it must be. And now, while Marina's grandmother and great-aunts rest on their beds, Marina and her mother stand in front of the wardrobe in Marina's little bedroom, pretending not to panic. Can't I just wear my school jumper, asks Marina. Lamb's wool's smart. Maybe not enough, sweetheart, says Laura, her mother. You know they hate... Never mind. What about the green dress? Grotesque, says Marina. Where's your long skirt then? Oh, Lord, what does your grandmother say? I don't know, says Marina, ominously wet-eyed. I look repulsive in everything. I... Darling, says a voice from the doorway. It is Marina's grandmother, not resting at all. Rosie, 80 today, and not a woman one disappoints. What a pity you don't want to look pretty. Look, I have this. Marina turns round and sees the blouse Rosie is holding out to her. Olive satin with a leaping gazelle motif. I, she says, I think... And Laura, darling, says Rosie, tonight you also try. Laura's mother-in-law is not easy to ignore. One does not become a major figure in the world of ladies' underclothing if one is weak. Laura swallows. Yes, she says, of course I will. She frowns at herself in the wardrobe mirror, her wet hair, her fair, apologetic Midland skin. Save me, she thinks, as the liver-spotted arm withdraws. Marina, love, your kilt... I could, says Marina doubtfully. She lowers her voice. Mum, I I wondered, can we talk? Usually this would make Laura's heart beat faster. However, she is less vigilant than usual, thinking of all that dill still to chop. About what, she says distractedly. It's complicated. I... Darling, they hear again from the doorway. Hurry, we have still to set out the serviette. Coming, says Laura. Sweetheart, she whispers to her daughter, we'll talk later, I promise. Okay?